Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks of November. So November 1st through the 14th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer for the first two weeks of November? What do we have for Cancer for the first two weeks of November? Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So you have been sabotaging your own success in some way. Um, your little inner voice. It's the, how you talk to yourself. You need to talk to yourself in a more positive manner. You know, don't talk yourself down. Talk yourself up. So what do we have for, it's like you guys are sabotaging a, some sort of potential, whether it's a potential relationship or something, by thinking about all the negative aspects of it, you know? What's, why don't you think about the positives? So what do we have for cancer? I feel like you have some plans that you keep procrastinating on. You keep on, you know, you have the plan, but you're not doing it. Do it. Do it. What do we have for cancer? Wise leader. Very good. This tablecloth is driving me crazy. wise leader you are a beacon for others let's put you in the light so you are you're a wise leader people look up to you people are drawn to you you are a leader you carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others even if you're not always aware of that depth of wisdom within you it's emerging by leaps and bounds this is a time to step into your power and take a role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the wet reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. This is kind of like your chariot card. It's time for you to get in that driver's seat. Like I said, grab the reins. Take the lead. You are a leader. You're the boss. So this is going to be a time of you taking charge of a situation by the looks of things. You're going to have to uh, follow through, make a decision and stick through, stick to it. Stick to it. You've made a plan. Stick to it. Do it. Whatever it is, do it. So what do we have for cancer? Answer. Justice. Justice is about that final decision. Okay? This is finality. This is everything turning out as it should. This is a fair and just decision. It's doing the right thing. Being honest. Being upfront. Speaking your truth. Doing what is, what, uh, is truthful to you. You know, telling your truth, being honest. So, mm. Ace of Wands reversed. Now that's something going south. This tablecloth is really driving me nuts. Um, ooh, lack of wish fulfillment, lack of hope, despair, test of faith. Your faith is going to be tested during this time. There could be some ill health here. I mean, if it's not you, it could be somebody around you that isn't very healthy. Um, you, you have to, you have to, it's almost like uh, make a decision as to whether you want to help somebody. Somebody may need your help. I feel like somebody does need your help. 
Um, Ace of Wands reversed. Now that is lack of excitement, lack of desire, lack of ambition, no drive. Uh, not taking initiative. The star reversed is uh, depression, depleted, not healthy. So there's some sort of unhealthy situation here. But there's an opportunity to bring balance back because this is a card of balance. So there's an opportunity to, you know, balance out the scales. But there's a need for faith because that star card is a lack of faith. It's a lack of hope in reversed. Fear has taken over. You have to let go. And that's where this one comes in. Let go of the fear. Okay? You may be asking yourself, why? Why is this happening? You may have to make a decision in these two weeks. It's a spur of the moment decision. You're not prepared to make the decision, but you got to make the decision. It's spur of the moment. And you're like, why? Why is this happening? Why am I being put in this position? I do feel like you're going to be put in a position where you have to take the lead, where you have to take the reins, where you have to make some sort of call or decision. Um... Why is this happening? It's happening because you have to be honest with yourself. You have to act in your integrity. And it feels like you're, you may be in a situation that is less than desirable. Yeah, it is less than desirable. Um, let me get another card. Ooh, poor judgment call. So there's karma here as well. So there's some sort of karma. We got somebody here that isn't making the right judgment call. They're not they're not wanting to make a call, right? They'd rather stall and procrastinate. I feel like you can't. You got to do it right now. You can't you can't keep procrastinating. It's like time is of the essence. You can't you can't keep wasting time. You may be avoiding responsibility and this you can't avoid. And I don't think you typically do that, but this is about not avoiding responsibility and definitely being honest with yourself being honest with others, being truthful. That's big in these next two weeks. Uh, judgment reverse is lack of awareness, you know, lack of accountability, needing to be accountable for something, okay? Um, I feel like there's also some poor health here. Somebody's not very healthy. They may be sick and they need your help. So I don't know who that is. You may be wanting to uh, prove something. Maybe you don't want to, you want to help them, but you don't. There could be somebody that's in the way that is not allowing you to help this person. Judgment reversed. That is guilty, feeling ashamed. Same with the star. Star is feeling ashamed. So somebody may be feeling ashamed. It could be fear of rejection as well. You know, there could be, for example, let's just change this up a little bit. There could be an opportunity for a reconciliation with somebody. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be. But there's an opportunity for a reconciliation here. But there's a need to be honest. There's a need to speak up. There's a need to be truthful. There's a need to have faith. There's a need to have trust. There's a need to believe and you know, not let fear get in the way. So we definitely have somebody here that is very fearful. And it's like the, the spark is going out or the fire is going away. Or the match is leaving or the match is being put out or something. And you have to take action. And I feel like you need to take action right now. So um, this is a poor judgment call. Not listening, you know, not listening to any advice. Unwilling to listen to any advice. Unwilling to listen to your gut even. Um, there's an opportunity to move on from a bad choice, but you have to decide to do that. It feels like you've been stagnant. You've been stuck. You've been sabotaging an opportunity for success because of the need to be honest. And I'm not saying that you're a liar, but there's a need to just... Maybe sometimes, you know, I know that you do this. We all do this. We hold our feelings inside. You know, we hold them in instead of expressing them. This is about expressing, being honest, being truthful. Uh, the time is definitely now, okay, right now. I feel like it's time for you to accept and allow change. Um, if this is a, it's a time of uh, going with the flow, not not going against the flow. Go with the flow. See, so, so I feel like uh, I feel like it's a time of cooperation and a need to blend to create you know you have an opportunity to create harmony and peace with I feel like it's with another person I feel like this is somebody that uh I don't know maybe they burned you 
or you burned them, you know, they've been burned before, but there's a chance to heal the connection, you know, there's a chance to heal the relationship, um, and bring balance. There's, this is about balance. It's balancing a connection. It is. So you definitely have an opportunity to balance a connection. It's like the universe wants you to do that too. Because we have, we have four universe cards. It's like that's what the higher power wants. The higher power wants you to compromise. They want you to blend. They want you to cooperate. They want you to have faith and trust. And it feels like you, you just don't. Anyhow, um, there's a need for change here. This is a time of change and there is a need for change, but you have to accept it. Okay. Um, I think you're going to need to manage your feelings. Okay. There's a chance for reconciliation here with somebody. Okay. And it may not, it may not feel like it's the right time. Everything happens at the right time for a reason. I feel like this is somebody that... I don't know, burned you in the past, you know, or you burned them or whatever, or things happened way too fast in the past, or this person had a bad reputation, or you had a bad reputation, or somebody was showing off, you know, and there was a sudden departure, and there was a lot of pain involved with a departure, or something like that, and uh, now there's a need to, uh, it feels like, come back together, whoever this person is, come back together and I don't know if it's hash things out or what, I mean, this is a card of, of both of those cards of, are of balance, making a decision, doing the right thing, justice, justice, uh, somebody has learned a lesson. They have learned a lesson after an ending. They're not the same person anymore. Maybe it's you. It's like karma. Maybe karma has taught in somebody a lesson because there's karma here. Healing is needed. So there's a chance to heal something. There's a chance for a reconciliation with somebody that... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they hurt you in the past. Uh, something about the past. They didn't accept who you were in the past. You know? They couldn't accept you for who you were. Maybe they couldn't accept your past. Or you couldn't accept theirs. Seven of Swords Reverse. That's like coming back. Somebody may be coming back. Finding a new approach. There's also um, dishonesty here. Somebody has been deceiving. They've been lying. Probably turning a blind eye to what they really want. It's like somebody that can't face the consequences. And this is a kind of consequences. So we do have some consequences here for not taking action. You know, when you don't take action, you lose something that is you're meant to have. So I feel like we have somebody here. And it, this could be for the cross watcher. Somebody needs to take action right now. They need to stop procrastinating. It's like they left something behind. They, this is left behind. They need to go back. Somebody has definitely ignored a warning or ignored some advice. We have an individual here as well that doesn't have any backbone. They need to find their backbone to do the right thing. So that's where we're at. We have somebody here who needs to find their backbone. You know, there's an opportunity to compromise and mix and come together and work together with somebody. I think it's somebody from your past. There's an opportunity to heal. This comes after the death card. So, you know, there's an opportunity to heal. And work together. And work together very, very nicely. 
It's, it's like it's a perfect combination. But there's so much self-deception here. We got somebody here that runs away when the going gets tough instead of um, working together. Don't run. Work together. So anyway, um, King of Cups reversed. Emotional withdrawal. Uh, not communicating. Keeping to them, somebody we have somebody here that is keeping keeping to themselves, not opening, not following their heart. They need to follow their heart. I feel like this is there's going to be some sort of encounter here where you like run into somebody that you know you may and, and whether you've already ran into them or whatnot. I think there's going to be a face to face conversation. Okay. With somebody, and and if it, I think it's face to face, it may not be, but it should be. There's definitely some ill health here. We got somebody here that isn't healthy. There could be drinking problems here. We could have somebody here that, or drugs, okay, or an addiction of some sort that is out of control, okay. And there's a need to get it under control. There's also getting caught. Somebody may be getting caught. They could get caught in their feelings. Okay, just saying. Somebody could get caught in their feelings, you know, and uh, need to take action. But somebody maybe in somebody could be getting caught uh, I don't know, communicating with somebody. If this is a third party situation, if somebody has been cheating or communicating, they may get caught. Um We definitely have, we have, we have like a, a, a drink in here or, or partying or going overboard, uh, needing to do something in moderation. Somebody is going overboard. It's like they're going overboard. They're doing too much and they could, they could, uh, not be looking where they're going. They could, they could, uh, what's the word for it? A trip, fall on their face, um, run into something. Okay. Um, there could also be some legal issues coming up here, some legal implications. Somebody, there could be news of legalities. Everything will turn out as it should. Okay, there could be a divorce. Somebody, could, there could be a split that, that is coming, if if it hasn't already. Um, There's fear of not being accepted. There's lack of acceptance here and fear fear of not being accepted. But I do feel like happiness is right here for you to have. There is an opportunity for happiness. You will be accepted. You'll be accepted if you have faith and trust and uh, take action. But it feels like you're, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear. No desire to... Uh, do the right thing and I think that you have to do the right thing and I'm not, and I'm not saying that you don't do the right thing but that's just what the cards are saying I just feel like there, there's an opportunity to heal a connection with somebody or to heal yourself um, and there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here but you've got to take action you have to get in that driver's seat you have to take the reins you have to honor your truth you have to be honest with yourself you need to speak up you need to follow through with the plans that you have created. Don't let fear get in the way. That's exactly what this is. Everything will turn out in your favor should you uh, have faith. You need to have faith. You need to believe. It feels like you need to go back. You need to, I don't know if you need to go back and make something right or somebody tries to go back or something like that. What is this Knight of Wands reverse? It could be a sudden departure here. We have somebody here that is leaving suddenly. Uh, I don't know if that happened in the past. And that could be that could be what happened in the past. 
Three of Cups, third party situation, third party interference, perhaps. But it's also celebrating, having fun, uh, getting together with friends, partying, drinking. There is some sort of having fun here. Having fun, drinking, partying, mingling, uh, reconnecting with somebody. Uh, you, reunion. We have a reunion here. I do feel like there is going to be a reunion in the near future. Um, and this could, if it's not somebody in this lifetime, it could be somebody from a past life. There is, it does feel like it's a past life connection here. Um, you may be asking yourself, why is this happening? Why now? Why is this ha everything happens for a reason? The time, it's time, it's time for this reunion. It's time for your, you to be happy. It's time for you to follow your heart. I do feel like there is somebody coming back around and I feel like, um, you're you're gonna have to make a decision. I think, and, and it's a it's a big decision. That's the first card, and decision. I mean, that justice card. That's a decision. So it's a big, huge decision. You're gonna. My advice is to be honest and upfront. What do you want? What does your heart want? It feels like you've been ignoring your heart or something like that with that King of Cups reversed. There's an opportunity to to blend and create harmony. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with and you, I think you have both, both of you have learned some lessons. And I think they were karmic lessons. Maybe from a third party. Maybe from overdoing it. Maybe from, you know, uh, getting cheated on or something like that. Somebody has learned some sort of lesson. And now there's an opportunity to heal. I do see extreme health problems here though as well. So we got somebody here that is extremely unhealthy and maybe they need your help. Maybe they need your support. And maybe it's you that's extremely unhealthy. Maybe they need to go to a hospital. Maybe there's a hospital involved or an institution. You know, so I feel like there's some sort of need to, to heal and need to heal in a very big way. So I feel like in these next two weeks, there's going to be a lot of, it's going to be very emotional for one thing. You're going to need to manage your emotions. I think there's going to be some changes. I think they're going to be extreme changes. Okay. It's going to be extreme. I think that you're going to be saying why, 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 why? I think there's a lot of fear. I think you're going to need to step up to the plate in some way, master your emotions and there could even be some tears shed. Um, you may be, you know, cause, but this is about, uh, that first card is, of justice is about integrity. It's about doing the right thing. It's about being honest and upfront, telling the truth, uh, bringing balance back to a situation, accepting and forgiveness as well, you know, so forgiveness, and this is about forgiveness as well. Forgiveness may be needed. So anyway, I feel like these next two weeks, you are going to have an opportunity to heal a connection. And maybe it's even heal yourself. There could even be some, I feel like there's there's nursing here. I don't know why. Or hospitals or something like that. Anyway, um... It's a time of change. It's a time of, of uh, managing, managing your feelings, managing your addictions, perhaps even. If you have some sort of addictions, taking back the reins, taking back control. We got somebody here that drinks a lot. You need to get that under control. Somebody could get caught. They could get caught, you know, with whatever they're doing. Whether it's drugs or drinking or whatever, they could get caught. They could be going down with that Ace of Wands reverse. That is going down. That's going south. 
Um, Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior, moving too fast, out of control, you know. Need to slow down. So anyway, I feel like this next two weeks, I feel like if you want to avoid a disaster or a, or a permanent loss, you're going to need to slow down. You're going to need to uh, abide by the law, whatever the freaking law is. And I'm not saying that you guys break the law. It's like, or the karma, karmic law or the truth or your truth, you know, because there's something about the truth, something about the law consequences that justice card is a card of consequences so there's some sort of consequences good or bad that come in these next two weeks and you may be saying why is this happening it's because somebody didn't want to listen they ignored they ignored the the rules or they ignored the law or they ignored the the their heart Ten of Cups. That's happiness. It is happiness. I feel like we have a, a happy relationship that has ended and there may be some sort of animosity, but there's a chance to heal. So anyway, in these next two weeks, uh, you need to follow the plan that you have made. It's about doing the right thing for you. Don't worry about what your friends say or your family. I honestly think your friends and family will support you. If you're worried about the, your relationship choice and what your friends and your family are going to say, I think that they will support this change. There is a change here. You will be supported by your friends and family. Anyhow, that's what I got. Good luck.